Welcome to the Fret Frontier. In today's episode, we will be taking on open voicings on the guitar. In a previous episode, I did a review of this particular instrument using open chord voicings, and I got a lot of inquiries about uh, that particular technique. So in this episode, I would like to show you how to take a pop song and turn it into an acoustic open chord voicing interpretation and we're going to use the song Take On Me uh, for that example. This is a song uh, that was popular in the 80s, has a wonderful uh, music video with lots of animation and as you know I like animation so I really enjoyed uh, that particular video and then that group AHA came out with a uh, more acoustic interpretation of that song and I'll put links to the original video as well as uh, the acoustic interpretation in the description below so you can uh, hear how the song sounds both ways and then our interpretation will be done in open voicings on the instrument we're going to do it uh, building the song using three different layers so uh, when I show you how it's done there'll be a bass layer there'll be a harmonized layer and then there will be uh, open drones on the upper strings and you'll see what that looks like. I'll play it through for you so you get an idea of what it is you'll have if you stick around and learn how to play the song in this technique. break this up into three parts and we're going to play them as the performer on the instrument. We're going to have a bass layer, we'll have a harmonized layer, and then we will have our upper drone strings. So our bass layer will be our bass strings and on our uh, nylon string guitar that's our wound strings. So four, five, and six. We're going to put our harmonized layer or the little melody line that we are using to help us uh, interpret the chords or apply the uh, chords to the ear will be happening across our third string and then we're going to do open drones on the first and second string. Let's start off with our bass layer. So what we're going to basically do is follow our chord structure playing the bass notes. I'm going to take the verses and I'm going to play them uh, up higher on the neck. So I'll be uh, representing the... Uh, B minor up here. Now you don't have to play any bar chords. These are going to just be open chord voicings, right? So we're going to be using our thumb to get our bass layer. We'll be playing all of the bass notes, okay, moving around on those strings. And then our uh, index finger will be taking care of our uh, harmonized uh, layer here, our second string, our third string, our third string. And then we'll have our uh, second finger on the second string and our third finger on the first string. In this episode, all we're going to do is go through the bass layer. So let's go through our bass notes and where we're going to place those. So our B minor is going to be B on the sixth string, seventh fret. And then the E will be represented by the open E. And then we'll have A open on the fifth string. 
and then we will have D open on the fourth string. And that gets us through our first four measures, and that actually repeats. So we get eight measures out of that. So let's just play them as whole notes, starting on four. One, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, repeat it. B, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, next line, B, two, three, four, E, two, three, four. Then we're going to come down to F sharp on the second fret of the first string. So I want that lower sound in the bass. So I also have this F sharp up on the, the fifth string if I want to use that, but that's going to be an octave higher. So I want this F sharp down here. Two, three, four, D, two, three, four. And that's my whole verse. Then when I go to the chorus, I'm going to play uh, down here on uh, in my open position. So I've got my A. It doesn't really matter when the string is open. It's just open. So we have A. One, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. And repeating that four times gives us the entire chorus. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little rhythm to that bass layer. Okay, and it will sound like this. Okay, okay, so I'll count that out for you. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and Okay, so we're going to go through and play that rhythm using our bass layer. All right, so we'll say the names of the notes as we go through this iteration of it. Okay, so we're going to say our bass notes. This will also give you an opportunity, if you haven't already, uh, to memorize where these notes are and just kind of get that bass layer sound in your head, coordinate it with your body as you're playing it on the instrument. One, two, three, four, B, 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 E, 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 A, 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 D, 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 B, 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 E, 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 A, 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 D, 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 B, 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 E. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, 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 A, 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 E, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, 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 A, 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 E, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, 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 A, 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 E. E, E, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, 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 A, 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 E, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, D, D. Okay, so once you get that coordinated where you're able to move your thumb around, go to your uh, notes, say them as you're going through that pattern, keeping that pattern nice and steady. So we are getting all these different coordination factors going along. We're thinking about the rhythm. We're thinking about our bass line. We're thinking about the words, which is a different rhythm than what we're playing on the notes. And so I hope you're enjoying uh, learning about this uh, technique. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, how you're doing with it in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next episode.